Hi y'all. Tracy, Charles the Belong Here Girl here. I am coming at you today with a slow cooker recipe. This is a collaboration with Danielle Nicole. Um, my favorite slow cooker recipe. And I'll be quite honest, this really, this is a family favorite. I've been making this one for years. Um, this is actually a variation of my mother's um, meatloaf recipe. She gave me a recipe years ago. Um, I had some trouble with my cooking for a while. My um, ex's grandmother actually bought me a Better Homes and Gardens cookbook um, as my first, my very first cookbook. And I have not the one she got me because it kind of fell apart, um, but we bought a replacement of the same year um, and then I got a newer version. Um, but that's how I learned to make bread and all of that, like before bread maker. Um, I'll be honest, I love this recipe and even after I adjusted it a little bit, um, I found a recipe for a turkey meatloaf and that's kind of how I got the idea to do this in the slow cooker. Um, okay, I don't always do it this way. I normally put it in a bowl, put it in the fridge overnight and let the flavors meld, but we're not doing it that way this time because I'm doing it this morning and then putting it in the crock pot. Um, okay, you will need ground beef. Panko. My mother used a sleeve of um, saltines, but I often have panko around, so I use that. Um, salt. I'm going to add some garlic. I don't always add this in, but I am today. Um, and some pepper. bell pepper which I have already cut up and I'll be honest ordinarily I add whatever I have around um, sometimes it's cup sometimes it's more than a cup in my mind bell pepper makes everything taste better well especially meatloaf so I don't mind adding more my husband has already been so kind as to cut up a medium onion for me um, two eggs and some tomato sauce um, a lot of people I know add ketchup I add tomato sauce because it lowers the points let me get everything ready to go uh, measured out and whatnot and I will be back Getting my ground beef in one cup of panko, I'm going to go ahead and add in my bell pepper and again I know this is, well, this hell. So, I'm not entirely sure how much, but I'm guessing it's probably two cups. Okay, and then once I get everything in there, I just get my hands in there. And mix it up.
of bell pepper and onion. I smash it down in the bottom of the slow cooker. so that it's kind of even across the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I open my can of tomato sauce. Just kind of pour it on top. Um, so I spread it around and make sure I have some on top of everything. Easy breezy. Four. Make sure it's plugged in. I turn it on and I let it cook for eight hours. So I will be back to show you what it looks like after eight hours of cooking. Okay, y'all. Back again. Um. Here, let me see if I can move you closer. That is what it looks like. Okay, and then what I do with it. So I generally take it out and put it on a plate. Quite honestly, I should probably be a little bit more specific when I do this, but generally speaking, I'm not. I do like a full piece at the ends and the center section I cut in half and then cut into six pieces. So some pieces are bigger, some pieces are smaller but it works for us. Um, so yeah, this is my variation on my mom's meatloaf. We enjoy it a lot. And this is dinner tonight. I will post the recipe and the points down in the description box um, and probably on my blog. Have a great day, everybody.